We are going over proportions. My learning target is I can solve real world problems involving proportions. A proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equal. So to prove that the ratios are equivalent, you can do two different things. You can multiply the top and bottom by the same number and see if you get that number. Or you can cross multiply and see if you get the same number. So for example, three times what is nine? Three times three is nine. So is nine times three 27? Yes, it is. So these are equivalent. They're a true proportion. Or you can do nine times nine is 81. Three times 27. I don't know that off the top of my head. That's 81, so yes, they are equivalent. They create a proportion. So to solve an unknown value in a proportion, you are going to look for the relationship between the numerator or the denominators. So you would ask yourself, what number is being divided or multiplied by to get to the next number? Or you can write an, a, pro, um, a proportion of words, known, unknown, and then you can solve. And I'll show you how to do that in one of the examples. So here we could do um, 5 times what is 25, 5 times 5 is 25, so 2 times 5 is 10. So that unknown value is 10. That's using the relationship. All right, so for number one, what times four is eight? Four times two is eight, so six times two is 12. So X equals 12. Number two, eight divided by what, or sorry, eight times what number is 72? Not eight, 18. Mm -hmm. So 18 times 4. So if I were to go backwards, that would be 16 divided by 4. So x equals 4. So 3 times 8 is 24, so if I were to go backwards, 40 divided by 8 is 5, so x equals 5. All right, number 4, 11 times times 8 is 88, so 6 times 8 is 48, so my x is 48. Okay, so when we have word problems, we have to be able to write the proportion and then solve it. So that's where that words known unknown comes from. So it says, Sean does 20 pull-ups every day. After 12 days, how many pull-ups does he do? So we have pull-ups and days. Those are my words. What do I know? I know that 
he does 20 pull-ups for one day. So after 12 days, how many pull-ups does he do? So 1 times 12 is 12. 20 times 12. So he does 240 pull-ups after 12 days. All right, number six, Caroline makes $15 per three dogs she walks. If she walks 12 dogs, how much money does she make? So we have how much money and then how many dogs she walks. So she makes $15 for three dogs she walks. So if she walks 12 dogs, how much money does she make? So three times four is 12. So 15 times four is going to be what? She's going to make $60. Colton strikes three times for every 15 swings he makes in baseball. How many swings does he make if he has 35 strikes? So we have strikes and swings. So he strikes seven times for 15 swings. So if he has 35 strikes, how many uh, swings did he make? Seven times five is 35, so 15 times five. So he had 75 swings. All right, number eight, Me Megan's ratio of goals made to goals missed in one soccer game is two to three. How many goals does she make if she misses 36? So she makes and misses. So she makes two, she misses three. So if she misses 36, how many does she make? That's times 12. 2 times 12 is 24 goals is how many she misses.